In last video, we have removed the battery warning message and modified the battery health data with the Chinese battery corrector. After video launched, people love it. And meanwhile, we have audience feedback that the solution is not perfect because we can see difference from physical appearance compared with the new battery. Is there any better solution? Electroworld works closely with this, and we found a built-in battery board solution. Compared with the earlier external battery board, it can recover battery appearance like brand new, and works on both iPhone 11 and 12 series, but it also requires higher repair skills. Now let's fix it with the iPhone 11 battery as an example. Let's check the battery info of this iPhone 11 at first. We see its battery efficiency goes to 85%. Power off. Remove screen and take out the genuine battery. And prepare to test the battery data with GCVY's programmer. Before that, we need to assure GCVY has the latest system version. Otherwise, we can't read and write battery data. Connect GCVYS with the computer. Open GC Repair Assistant and upgrade it. We can see it's in upgrading now. Wait a moment and then it will get completed. After system upgradation, let's test the battery data with the GCVYS programmer. We can see the battery cycle goes to 776 times and battery efficiency goes to 88%. Next, peel off protect film from battery board. Unfold two metal pieces and cut it off from battery cell. It's very important that we can't connect two battery metal pieces during cutting. Otherwise, the anode and the cathode will connect and the battery will get short circuited or battery board get burned. Now we got the individual genuine battery board and ready to install it on the new battery cell. However, before that we must connect it with GC built-in battery flex in advance. There are 6 solder joints of GC built-in battery flex. We locate 6 solder joints on genuine battery board accordingly. There are inductance above solder joints. So we use hot air gun and blade to remove them. Apply solder paste and clean 4 solder joints out with solder area. Apply solder paste again. Rebolt the tin back and brush with PCB cleaner. Because the cathode solder joint was protected with a flex surface treatment, we need to remove them with blade. Apply solder paste on them. Rebolt the tin back and brush with PCB cleaner. Reverse the flex, and we proceed the same procedure with the anode solder joint. Take it off from fixture. Now we completed the repair of genuine board. Here there are 6 solder joints with tin ball. Next, let's prepare the GC built-in battery flex. To connect the genuine battery board and the GC battery flex, we need to make 6 pieces of 0.1mm copper solder wire about 1 cm long for each piece. Then we apply solder paste on 6 solder joints and plant the tin ball for later jump wire. Connect the jump wire on 6 solder joints in turn and brush with the PCB cleaner again. Then we got the JC battery flex ready. Align 6 joints between 2 bars. Apply solder paste. Solder all 12 joints of two bars correspondingly with jumper wires. Clean all solder joints and check if there are cross between jumper wires. If so, we must separate them to prevent the short circuit after connected with the battery cell. Compared with the genuine battery cell, just like what we show in the video. Please make sure the anode and the cathode are in correct position, while the new board assembly and the battery cell with portable spot welder, and apply high temperature resistant tape before bending two boards together. This is very critical to prevent the solder joint disconnect or get short circuit during bending.
Next, let's reverse battery data with JCVYS. Connect the new battery with JCVYS battery detection board. We can see there are still the genuine battery data. With three different buttons, we can modify the battery efficiency to 100% and modify battery cycle to zero times. Also, you can change it to the data you want. Now it's a key point step. We take another battery to install and power on. Because it's not a genuine battery, there will be a warning message on the locking page. Also, we will find the warning message in battery house, and it won't show maximum capacity. The reason for this step is for activating phone to restore the phone data. It's a critical step we must do, otherwise the date can't be reversed successfully. After activating phone, let's install the new battery which has installed the JC Builder in Battery Flex. This time we see the warning message pop out, but disappear immediately. This means the iOS has recognized the new battery as a genuine battery. In setting battery health, we see no warning message. Also battery efficiency goes to 100%. At last, let's connect phone with computer. Open three U tools in computer and test the phone data. We can see battery efficiency goes to 100% and charging time goes to zero, just as we modified. Here is a very interesting question. What will happen if we just modify battery data without changing battery cell? Please leave your comment and subscribe our channel for more tech video updates.